The price gone up, enough is enough. From this morning, all the road will be blocked. These fishermen have joined ongoing protests by taxi drivers, triggering a massive gridlock along the southern main road. But while motorists were inconvenienced, the fishermen said their protest is justified. Bait going up, tackles going up, hook going up, wire going up, ice. They say it's no longer feasible to fish. What's 220 we used to pay for a, a 20 um, gallon of gas, 20 gallon of gas to 220 with oil. Now we, it went up to, to $560. Now it's going up to how much now? Another fisherman is worried that theft will worsen as people will become more desperate. At least bring back the regular gas, you know. Get, get, do something different. Do something different, man. Where were we to do and what you want us to face out there? Last night, men lost that, they lost net and thing out there. Right? The association's public relations officer, Desmond Belfast, warned that they will not stop protesting until the authorities bring some relief. We know from some point in time that prices do go up on certain things after a period of time. But within a little period of time, they send up this gas price, this is the fifth time. We agree to the first one, we could have survived. You know, we work around with means. The second one was a little pressurable, if we decide well, all right, we will still work around that. But after the third, fourth, to the fifth time, it, 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 it outrages. Protests are expected to continue in other fishing communities for the rest of this week. Radikadi Silva, CNC3 News.